From March 2024, marketers targeting audiences in the EEA and UK will face a new challenge, complying with Google's EU user consent policy by implementing Google's Consent Mode V2 on their website. Join us in this video as we guide you through the easy setup of Consent Mode with user-centric CMP, ensuring your ad campaigns stay sharp and compliant. If you've installed the user-centric CMP tag directly on your site without the template tag, you'll need to add the script in line to enable Consent Mode. Once that's in place, Google offers you a choice between two types of implementation for consent mode, basic and advanced. The path you select will shape how you'll configure your tags. For the setup of basic consent mode, you configure your Google tags to require additional consent before loading. To use this mode, simply follow the steps that you'll be shown next. Choose the tag you wish to configure for basic consent and access the tag configuration field. Head to Consent Settings through the Advanced Settings menu, where you can choose the appropriate storage type. Now proceed to set up the trigger for your Google tag. If you've selected the All Pages trigger, remove it and instead choose the Consent Status trigger. In case Consent Status isn't available, you have the option to create a new trigger using this name and establish a corresponding custom event. Once you've saved these adjustments, your basic consent mode setup for the specific Google tag is complete. For Advanced Consent Mode, the tags will always need to load, but their behavior automatically changes based on the consent given. It's a more flexible approach and can be activated by allowing tags to fire as normal. To set this up, you go back to the consent settings section and click on not set under additional consent checks. By following these steps for either basic or advanced mode for all your tags in Google Tag Manager, you'll be ready to respect your users' privacy choices while maintaining your marketing's effectiveness.